Welcome to MCG University. In this video, we will be discussing how to enable and work with the cockpit. First thing we're going to do is check to make sure that the cockpit has been enabled. If you navigate to general settings, the cockpit tab, Fiori styled cockpit should be enabled. If it is not, just click on it, hit update. The system will ask you to log out and log back in. Another way to double check is in the cockpit. If you go to this section, you'll see that it's grayed out where it says enable my cockpit. If you're just first starting out, this is how your cockpit will look. And I have a little plus sign here. Otherwise, if you already have existing tiles, there'll be a pencil up here to give you the ability to edit. And then click on the, to get the plus button to get us to the widget gallery. This will list all of the out-of-the-box uh, widgets that are available. There are multiple sections, uh, dashboards, KPIs, business object counts, workbench, browser, and others. I'm going to select a couple from each of the sections to give you an idea of how it will look. This is the dashboard section. Here's the KPI section. We have the business object section, workbench, browser section, and others. If I click on this left back arrow, this will take us back to the cockpit. And it will put all the tiles we've selected. We have the ability to move the tiles around and also resize the tiles to fit how we'd like to see them. Once we've reached uh, a setting that we like, we can click on the checkbox and it will ask us if we'd like to update the existing cockpit or save it as a template. If you choose to save it as a template, it'll ask you to list it. and it will update the cockpit. If you click on the pencil, hit the check mark, you can update it to finalize it. This will finalize updating your cockpit. This gives you the ability to then use that cockpit come to the cockpit management, and you can then publish that template that you just saved. Once you've published it, it is now available for anyone. So if you click on this folder, you will then see that new template available. You just click on the one you're looking for, update your cockpit to the other one. If you want to save that as yours, go ahead and click the pencil, the check mark, and update your cockpit. It'll ask you if you're overwriting it. Go ahead and click OK. In order to update some of the widgets, such as the browser, you can navigate to the cockpit section, browser widget setup, and you can scroll through and find the browser you're looking for. And you can change the URL associated. Make sure you use the HTTPS to start, as it will not work otherwise. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to Mitchell Consulting Group and visit us at mitchellgroup.com.